All right, for our next part of our study guide, we are looking at the predicting products. So this is for questions 6 through 12 on your study guide. And we want to predict the products. We want to balance the equation, tell the type of reaction, and give our symbols. And if there's no reaction, we're going to write NR. Okay, so our first one we're starting with is we're starting with C5H12. And we are combining that with oxygen. Okay, now if we take a look at this, we are going to notice that we have a hydrocarbon and we have an oxygen. So that tells me that I'm going to have a combustion reaction, which combustion reactions are going to give us carbon dioxide and water. Okay, oops, can't see that, sorry. All right, so when we look at this, let's take a look at our balancing because we've written our combustion reaction out. So I'm just going to put C here for combustion. We have five carbon, one carbon, I'm going to make it a five. We have 12 hydrogen, only two. I put a 6. This gives me 10 oxygen plus 6. That's 16 oxygen. 8 gives me 16. So 5 carbon, 5 carbon. 12 hydrogen, 12 hydrogen. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 6 is 16. 8 times 2 is 16. We said this was combustion. On this one, I'm not too concerned about us putting the solid liquids or gases. I would probably give you something because the hydrocarbons we haven't really learned very much yet. Okay. All right, so problem number seven. We had nitrogen, which is a gas, it's a diatom, combined with hydrogen, which is going to be a gas. Okay, same thing on this one. It's not too big of a deal for us to um, worry about these gas ones because they're a little bit different. We haven't talked about them totally. Okay, so if I take a look at this and how it would come together, this to me is a synthesis reaction because I have two individuals that are going to have to come together as one. This one's a little bit trickier to figure out. If we look at nitrogen, we know it has five valence electrons. It means it's going to take three. That means I'm going to end up with three hydrogen. Okay, so I'm going to get NH3, or good old ammonia. All right, so now let's take a look. We had two nitrogen, one. Let's make it a two. That now gives me six hydrogen. Here, three gets me to six. I have two things coming together. This is a synthesis reaction, or I'm just putting an S. Question eight. We have aluminum, and it's solid, plus zinc chloride, which we said was aqueous. All right, the first order of business is this is a single replacement reaction. You can tell by one thing here and two here. We have to look at our reactivity series. We have to look and see if this reaction is able to take place. So I've got a picture here on my other phone of the reactivity series. I don't know if you guys can see that very well or not. What we're looking for is we're looking for aluminum to be able to replace zinc. Aluminum is above. It can replace below. So that means this can actually take place. Aluminum can kick zinc out. Okay. So to do that, aluminum is a positive 3. Chlorine is a negative 1. So this side is going to end up Al. Cl3 plus Zn. All right, so this is how we get the second part of this. Now, in this case, zinc's going to be a solid. This is going to be our aqueous. Now, when we balance, we're going to start with the aluminum. So one here, one here. One Zn, one Zn. Now we've got two chlorine and three. So closest thing in common, get it to six. Make that a three, make that a two. That gives me two aluminum, fix that. Three zinc, fix that. My coefficients are 2, 3, 2, 3, and this is a cat ionic single replacement or displacement. So I just put SD or SR. All right, next question, number 10. We have bromine, which is normal state liquid. Okay, that's what this means. And we're going to combine that with KCl, potassium chloride, and aqueous solution. I take a look at it, to me it looks like it's going to be a single replacement reaction again. So I want to check and see if this can take place. Now this time, bromine wants to kick out chlorine. So we're going to go to my same picture, get logged into my phone here, okay, and we're going to come over and look here. Alright, so what's trying to happen is bromine's trying to kick out chlorine. Can't do it. Can fall down, can't fall up. This isn't going to happen. This is no reaction. Next problem, number 11, we have HGO. All right, 
HGO, we look at it, I only have one reactant. To me, this is going to break down. It's going to be decomposition because I only have one reactant. Two things that make up HGO are mercury and oxygen. Oxygen's a diatom. Don't forget that. All right, so we would put the two there. Okay, when we take a look at this then to balance, we have one HG, one HG, two O, one O. Make that a two. Make this guy a two. There's my balance reaction for my decomposition reaction. Okay, and my next one, number 12, I have aluminum plus mercury acetate or acetate. Okay, same thing. I'm looking for a single replacement reaction here because I can see that this is going to have to kick somebody out. So I'm looking to see if aluminum is going to be able to replace mercury. So let's come over here. Here's aluminum. All right, do so we have mercury? It's clear down here at the bottom. So yes, aluminum can definitely kick him out. All right, so aluminum is a three positive and the acetate is a negative one. So on this side, I'm going to get AlC2. H3O2 3 plus mercury. Okay. All right. All right. So for this problem, we are going to look at balancing it now that we have it written out. So we have aluminum, one aluminum. We have one HG, one HG. All right. Carbon, we've got four carbon. We have six carbon. We got an issue, but let's keep going for a second. Okay. Over here, we've got six hydrogen, nine hydrogen four oxygen, six oxygen. So obviously there's an issue. Um, we can focus in on the carbon or the hydrogen, either one. Um, if we take a look here, we have four and here we have six, then we got to find what the closest thing those two can get to. Okay. So for me, four and six, I think about it, I'm going to be able to get to 12. That's going to make the most sense between the two. So to get to 12 over here, I got to take this whole thing times three to get to 12 over here. All right. We had six, I have to take this by two. All right, well, let's check everything else before we start changing things. This gives me four times three. All right, we have the 12 carbon. This also gives me six times three, 18 hydrogen. Four times three is 12 oxygen. Okay, I come over here. I have six times two, 12 carbon. I have three times three is nine, times two is 18 hydrogen, which we had over here and three times two is six times two, we have the 12 oxygen, we're balanced. Now let's fix this. Three mercury, come over here, three mercury. Two aluminum, come over here for two, oops, sorry, there, aluminum. We take a look at this uh, type of reaction and this is a cationic single replacement. This is it for problems six through 12.